Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Accenture and if you are worried about the pattern cut off real questions resources then this video is for you why because we are going to discuss about the patterns and about the cut offs real questions and resources so please don't skip any moment of this video just one request to you guys please make sure that you are doing subscribe to our channel and watching the playlist of any company that you want okay hey you ready for the future attack no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant access so let us discuss about the pattern very quickly so as we have discussed this already in the last video so we will not discuss uh, all the things but let me discuss it quickly that is uh, there will be gamified sections in cognitive ability and there will be uh, new things that is SQLs and HTML CSS JavaScript as per the student's feedbacks it will be there in the technical sections along with the pseudocodes clouds networking coding questions etc okay so you have to prepare for this now we'll discuss about important sql questions which type of questions they can ask in this video i will discuss about those okay and if you want to get the latest resources i'll discuss about those as well how to prepare and what to prepare okay now uh, if you are preparing for sqls then how to what's the best approach to prepare for sql questions for Accenture? now you have to know that higher pro is conducting the exam and they will give the questions as we have observed the questions of higher pro whenever they have asked sql questions for different companies they have included these chapters that is join then aggregate functions okay and sub query okay so these are the total chapters you can focus sub query join aggregate uh, aggregate methods aggregate functions and the like operators okay these are the main keyword you can refer and i'm assuring you these type of questions will be asked to you only okay and now let me discuss about the cutoff so cutoff is as per the last uh, experience last year the cutoff will be belonging between 70 to 75 percent so still uh, if you are not preparing then please start preparing well otherwise you will not get the opportunity at Accenture. okay so i hope you'll start preparing and one important thing you have to know that as higher pro has been conducting the exam for Accenture for the last few years but they have not asked sql questions html CSS, javascript questions earlier so that's why we will discuss about the sample questions what type of questions they can ask in in this video we'll discuss about those okay now let me discuss so i hope this is visible to you guys from the following tables write a sql query to find the salesperson and customer who reside in the same city return salesman customer name and the city okay i hope this is uh, not properly visible till i'm telling you this is city okay so this is the table having column salesman id name city commissions and these are the datas okay and this is the customer table and having these columns like customer id custom uh, customer name city grade and salesman id so as you can see salesman id is common in the both um both table so this can be our foreign key so what we have to do we have to return the salesman customer name and the city where the city of those persons are same okay they are residing in the same city before we jump to the next question i would like to highlight about the resources if you are looking for the latest resources then please consider the prime materials available at topmate.io slash tech underscore uf here you will get all the things like updated gamified rounds and web based questions sql questions all the updated patterns are available there so please go through that because here we have uploaded from cognitive sections to technical sections from communication to mock test to interview experience everything are available so please go through that huge amount of screenshots of real exam questions of martial metal uh, and hair pro all are available so please go through that it will be helpful for you you can see the feedback of students provided below so please go through the link given in the description box or in the comment section thank you let me discuss the next question okay so here the uh, customer uh, in case of salesman the salesman id and inside the customer table there is a salesman id this is the foreign key just remember that okay so let me just write the code uh, query here so that it will be easier to understand so basically let me just write uh, uh, select i hope this is visible select uh, what we have 
to find that is name of the salesman then customer name customer name and the city right so these three fields we have to fetch from those tables now from which tables we have to fetch from salesman and from customer okay so these are the two tables from where from which we are fetching the details so basically we are joining okay we are joining those tables and when should we join where the salesman id okay salesman salesman id is equal to equal to salesman id okay salesman id but one problem will be occurring just we have to refer this salesman as let's say s and this customer as c to make them uniquely identify so salesman is right so this is the name from the salesman table so s dot name we have to write and this is the customer name this is from the customer table so we have to write c and this is the city from which uh, yeah from both we can write so let me just write this from customer okay so customer dot city and this salesman is from salesman and this salesman id is from customer table okay so now let me just uh, validate and submit the code and let me see if this is producing right output or not okay so as you can see the name is being shown here and the customer name and the city as you can see they are like james hoag this is the name in the salesman id uh, salesman table and this is the customer name okay so they are residing both in new york city that's why it is the output and for as you can see nail knight also present in california and nail knight and uh, this guy like graham uh, juicy nail knight and julian green they are residing in same city so this is why the output is this okay uh mac lion fabian johnson in paris okay they are uh like sharing the same city okay so i hope you want to write so this type of questions you will see in your exam so let me just share one uh question which was really asked so this this question was for the practice purpose i am giving you one really asked questions so the questions uh, look like this very easy but still this is being asked okay so there is a data given to you okay there is a given data like uh name and id okay so name and ids are given to you and you are asked oh uh, print the name in this format print the name in this format uh just print all the last name okay all the last name last name and it should contain one uh, uh capitalize the first name uh, first letter capitalize that and capitalize the last letter okay then print only those i uh, those names where id is id is uh, like you have to validate the id there are several conditions like uh, first condition is id containing only three characters okay id containing only integers okay and id uh, id should be id should not greater than some value okay let's say mm, 300 so these oh, this way you have to write a query to print all the names in this format like capitalize the first letter and the last letter of the last name and you have to validate the id also where the name uh, id having three characters only is integer only and id value not greater than 300 okay so this is a quiz question for you guys please give the answer in the comment section i love uh, to see your answers okay and let me just show one more quiz question for you guys so the quiz question is this uh let me show you one more quiz question for you guys so that is this orders in amount range from the following tables write a sql query to find those orders where the order amount exists between 500 and 2000 return order number purchase amount customer name city so 
customer uh, table is customer and these are the columns provided to you and this is the orders table and these are the columns provided to you so just utilize these columns uh, tables and give the proper solutions for this and if you are able to solve this type of problem then very honestly you are going to track the sql questions of cognizant okay so i hope this much of discussion is enough for today's session guys if you want me to upload more content of cognizant or any company that you want then please comment down and like this video share this content with your friends so that they will be uh, getting a job with you and i'll be motivated to make more content for you okay thank you please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends